Hello, Mr. Nuruddin. Are you ready for our interview? Yeah, sure. Come on in. It smells like a hospital in here. Uh, that's because of the formaldehyde that we use to preserve the cadaver. Are you squeamish to see dead body parts? Yes, I am. Let's leave that up for now. Okay. So this is where our first year and second year students get to learn anatomy. Let's move along. Great. Tell us where we are. We are now in the Anatomy and Pathology Resource Centre. Sounds cool. Tell me, what am I looking at? So this is the specimen of an alcoholic liver disease. As the name suggests, it means too much of alcohol consumption leads to fatty degeneration of the liver tissue. If left untreated, it will proceed to liver cirrhosis, which means hardening of the liver tissue. Whoa, that's just way too much science for me. But that's really insightful. Now, you'll get a hang of it once you're a medical student. So, this is what we like to call our museum. We are here in our clinical skills lab. As you can see, this is our mock clinic. Here we have the typical doctor-patient consultation, medical examination table, and other apparatus in the clinic. Likewise, this is where our students get to practice the mock ward situations. We have hospital beds, we have medical dummies, we have breathing apparatus, and many more. I'm so sorry. I never offer you a drink. Let's head to our student lawn. Would you like green or black tea? Green, please. Thank you. All right. Before I go, what advice do you have for budding doctors? And why is it that QIU is the best choice for a medical university? The advice I will give to those inspiring doctors is to work hard, be true to yourself and never forget your family. QIU is the best place to study because doctors, lecturers and medical staff here is like your family and you can study in the best environment that you can ever imagine. Okay, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this session with you. Come back anytime you want. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>